Do you think Cher could ever be just a housewife? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. There is a drive, there is a burning desire in people who want to be great stars. And uh, I saw it the night that she opened at my brother's club. My brother used to have a club in Hollywood called the Purple Onion, and uh, uh, Sonny and Cher opened for the Righteous Brothers. And when Cher sang Battle Hymn of the Republic, there was something that happened in her eyes and in her face. I mean, there was, a, there was an intense drive, not just the voice. I mean, the voice was a knockout, too. But I knew that night, I thought, boy, she is going to be something. She's going to be really something. And nobody else saw it, but I saw it. Cher is, uh, in addition to being truthful, has done some um, pretty outrageous things in her, uh, in her day. Uh -huh. uh, what is the thing that she has done that has embarrassed you the most? Well, you know, that's, that's a hard one because she's always doing something that just, I, I, you know, I look up and I think, what, what is going on here? She just did a video. She's in, in a bed and there's about 12 guys surrounding her. And I walked onto the set that night, not knowing what to see. And these guys are all around her and they're, they're writhing and so on. And she's got on a very skimpy costume. And she says, what do you think, Mom? <laughs> when you say these eight outrageous things, it's usually only her costumes. She's real, stra uh, real, real square and straight with her personal life. She really is. She's probably one of the straightest, squarest people that you would know. Her uh, flamboyancy is in her costumes and in her makeup and in her hair and all that stuff. But if you knew her in her personal life, after the Oscars, we came home. She got into her pink, what do you call those baby bunting, those, those big pants things that are all in one. And we had pizza. I mean, this is not, <laughs> this is not a swinger. Is it easy to separate Cher from her public persona? You, do you still look at her as your baby girl? I look at her at, at, as my daughter. Uh, uh, it's interesting that you say that. The night of the Oscars, I was so excited. I saw the look on her face. I saw her revert back to an adorable, small child that didn't belong, that wanted so much to belong and be part of the group. I started to cry and couldn't stop because I saw that vulnerable child, and I, I don't see that. All I see is this image that she has built up as Cher. There's a tender, fragile part of her that you don't see.